Alright guys, so today we're going to be focusing on variables and expressions. The vocabulary for this lesson is we have variables, algebraic expressions, terms, factor, power, exponent, and base. Now you might be uh, familiar with variables already. Uh, the most common one that we uh, like to use is x. X is an example of a variable. X could be anything. It could be uh, 2, 1 half, 1 third, 5,000. A variable could be any number. The algebraic expression is when you have a variable along with another number. So, for example, an algebraic expression could be 2x plus 4. This is just this is an example of an algebraic expression. It consists of a variable with another number and a constant or a term that goes along with it. In this expression there are two terms. We have 2x is one term and just the number 4 is another term. 4 is a constant term. A constant term basically means that this number 4 is never going to change. It's always going to be a 4. Factors are two numbers or a variable that are being multiplied. So in this example, 2x, 2 and x are being multiplied. So 2 is a factor and x is a factor. We are multiplying these two together so they are called factors. Now the last three vocab words, uh, power, exponent, and base, these all go together. Um, so for example, if we have 3 to the third power, the power means that it's going to be multiplied by itself three times. This exponent, the exponent is basically what it's being raised to. The base is what the number is that's going to be multiplied by itself. So in this, 3 to the third, it means 3 times 3 times 3. When we are given an algebraic expression and it tells us to write it into a verbal expression, Basically, what they're wanting us to do is to phonetically just write out exactly what we see. So, in our first example, we have we have three x raised to the fourth power. So that's what it means when it says to write a verbal expression from an algebraic expression. So what I want you to do now is to pause the video, uh, try the next example by yourself, and then unpause the video to see uh, what I came up with. So now that you've tried it yourself, uh, let's look to see what I came up with uh, in this example. So the next one says 5y to the third plus 1 half. So, if we just write it out, we have 5y raised to the third power plus one half. So when we're translating verbal phrases into algebraic expressions, um, there are a bunch of key words uh, that we can look at which should trigger to know which operation we're going to use. So for an, an, exa an example, in addition, if we are talking, uh, if we have like two more than, uh, if Sally has two apples more than max, it's going to be x plus 2 because there's there are going to be more than something or the sum or increased by or if you're going to use the word plus that those are examples of addition and subtraction if you 
if it's something that's less than or the difference. Difference is a one of the key words that they like to use, especially on like Terra Nova or something like that. Um, in multiplication, product is a big multiplication keyword, and of course times, like we're used to seeing. Now division is the quotient of. Quotient is another one of those keywords um, that you would just use for division, or it's divided by as well. So I recommend writing all of these phrases down in your notes uh, just so that you can look back at it uh, when you're doing your homework or studying for a test. So when we are writing algebraic expressions we're going to want to look back into our notes uh, to find the word list that we wrote out. Um, and let's look at the first example. It says the product of 6 and y. So one of the key words that we're looking at is product. So we know when we see product, we mean that we're going to be doing some multiplication. So what are we going to be multiplying? In this, we are multiplying 6 and y. So when we write that, we have the product of 6 and y. We can have the, the little dot in between to show 6 is being multiplied by y, or we could also rewrite it as 6 y. The 6 and y could just be right next to each other. Now what I want you to do is pause the video and try the next example by yourself. Now that you're finished, um, let's look over what we have tried. So we have n squared increased by 5. So let's look at our keywords that we're looking at. Uh, increased by, this means that we are going to be doing some addition. And what are we going to be adding? So in this one, it says we are doing, we are adding n squared, and we are adding 5. So the way that we write n squared, we write our n, and then with the squared, we're talking about powers. So the n squared basically means n to the second power, and we are increasing it by 5. So we have n squared plus 5. 